Hello and welcome to the Abbeville County Library System Summer Reading Story Time. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Now it's time for story time! Today's stories are all about amazing animals. And they're extra special because they're written by Storytime friends. So you might know some of these authors. Our first story is called Making Friends, and it's written by our Storytime friend, Alan Bass. Once, there was a Cryolophosaurus named King. He was very strong and had long legs for running, and a bright orange crest. King was feeling a little bit lonely because he didn't have anyone to play with him. One day, when he was out exploring, he met a Triceratops playing alone in the dirt. She had four short legs, a bony collar around her neck, and three horns. I'm Tilly, she said. Are you feeling lonely too? I am lonely and would like to have a friend to play with me. King was excited to make a new friend. They began exploring together. In the late afternoon, before lightning bug time, they went down to the green valley where, where they saw a large turtle playing by himself. He had a very long neck and was carrying a shell on his back. As they got closer, he was scared and squeezed into his shell. I'm King, said Cryolophosaurus. I'm Tilly, said Triceratops. Please don't be scared. We are lonely and looking for a friend to explore with us. I'm Archelong, said the turtle. I'm lonely too and would love to have friends to explore and have an archaeology dig with me. The three of them played all evening. They explored in nature. They did an archaeology dig and put together fossils. When nighttime came, their mamas told them it was time for bed. They were not happy. Their mamas told them they need to get some rest so they would have lots of energy to play and explore the next day. The new friend said good night and promised to meet the next day when the sun came up in the sky. The end. Look at that. My friend Bear liked that story so much. He's pretending to be a dinosaur. Our next story is written by Storytime friend Daniel Wire and is illustrated by his brother Matthew Wire. It's called Deer's Birthday. Once upon a time, a deer lived in a great big forest. Deer was happily running through the forest because it was her birthday. Deer was on her way to her friends' homes to invite them to her birthday party. Deer first came to Squirrel's house. Squirrel opened the door and said, Hello, what brings you here? Deer said, I wanted to invite you to my birthday party today. I can't come. I have to collect more nuts. I'm sorry, Squirrel sadly said. It's fine, Deer mumbled. Have fun. Then Deer sprinted off to find her other friends. Next, Deer saw a mouse sweeping outside her home. Deer said, Hey Mouse, would you like to come to my birthday party? There will be cake and ice cream. I'm sorry, Deer Mouse said. I can't come. I have to clean my house today. Deer mumbled half-heartedly. No problem, have fun. Then Deer sprinted off to find her other friends. Next, Deer found Fox trotting through the forest. Deer asked, would you like to come to my birthday party? Fox said, I would love to. And Deer's heart soared, but it can't. I have to find a new den. Deer's heart dropped like a stone in her stomach and she mumbled, bye. Then Deer ran off with tears blocking her vision. Deer sadly walked through the forest. 
When Deer got to her house, she heard a loud yell, Surprise! And what a surprise! Deer saw Squirrel, Mouse, and Fox all waiting for her by a table piled with cake, ice cream, and presents. Deer and her friends had a great time at Deer's surprise birthday party. Happy birthday! That is a great surprise. Now I have a fun time for you. I'm going to reach into my basket over here and I'm going to pull out an animal. And whatever animal I pull out, I want you to act like that animal. You can growl or walk around or move however that animal moves. You ready? All right. First one is a dog. Can you act like a dog? Woof, 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 woof. I hear you. They're such good dogs. Okay, next one. This time act like a, a pig. Selling a farm at your house. Good job. Now let's be a lion. Whoa. Can you sound like that? That's a good roar. Now let's be a cow. Can you move like a cow? Sounds like a farm again. All right, this one, this time let's act like a can you slither on the ground? Can you slither around? Good job. Right, the last one. You might need some space for this one. You ready? It's a frog. Can you jump like a frog? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Good job. And our next story is written by a storytime friend that you might see when you come to the library. It's written by Miss Hannah, who works at the front desk. And it is a story all about an aardvark. Once in a jungle far away, there lived a hungry, bumbling aardvark. He never thought it strange that he lived in a jungle. He just did. One day, he stumbled upon a plump, purple fruit he'd never seen before. It was a bit of a vague shape, but close enough to square that you could call it so. There were also two golden stems connecting it to the rest of its leafy green plant. Though there were times for pondering, the aardvark often did not think about things very long. He plucked the fruit and ate it. It was mellow and ripe, sweet and tangy, and oh so delicious. But there was one side effect. It sent him to the moon! After the initial shock, however, he was not very worried. He always took things as they came. The moon was a very interesting place. Perhaps after he had explored that, he would eventually find something that could transport him somewhere else. The end. Okay, our story time question for today is what animal would you be if you could be any animal in the world? Imagine your story. What would you be? Answer below in the comments. We'd love to find out what you want to be. Remember, when you answer our story time question down below, your name gets entered to win a drawing for a Friday prize bag. So make sure you answer.
Today's stories were all about animals, so today we're going to make a frog. I used a paper plate. You could use whatever you had. You can use paper, you can use the inside of a cereal box, you can use poster board, whatever you have. I colored them green, I colored his inside red. I use markers. Again, you can use crayons, paint, color pencils, whatever you have. Give him some legs, give him some eyes. I rolled up a tongue and I glued all of those parts on. And now I can make him say ribbit. Ribbit. Now the directions for this are down below. You can click on it and it'll tell you just how to make this. And if you make it before Wednesday, you can use it to tell the story along with Tim Lowry, our performer, on Wednesday at 11 o'clock. So, make your frog, snap a photo, and send it to us at Instagram at abbevillecounty.org. Can't wait to see your frogs. Now remember, there's only one rule with doing story time crafts. And that rule is... There are no rules. Use your imagination. Make it whatever color you want. Use whatever materials you have. Just have fun and use that imagination. Thank you for joining us for story time today. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Story time is done today. Hope to see you next Monday. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye.